Hi everyone and welcome to Grimes Time. I'm your host Joe Grimes and with me as always Evan Mulgrave. So it turns out that Denny is an idiot and uh, completely misinterpreted the law. It turns out that you can't um, talk about brands or companies any time that you want. You have to be in a contract with them or else it's illegal and they can send you cease and desist letters, which we have received a number and we're getting sued. Yeah, they they won 11 grand. And um, oh so if you're a lawyer or you have 11 grand, uh, please email us at, uh, at the show. Uh, we're in a quagmire, we might be fucked. And also scenery change this week. Uh, we're not in the boat shed. Joe's dad is uh, holding his annual potluck poker night. Well, we are actually in the waiting room of uh, the dentist office that Joe works in, which was nice of his dentist, but uh, maybe a bit reckless. I mean, there's nitrous canisters and um, things like that in here, but uh, we appreciate it, so. I'm not thankful. I could care less. I don't care about anything. My life is meaningless. You all right? Well, um, on top of uh, the numerous lawsuits that are hanging over my head, like a guillotine blade, uh, the fact that Clarice hasn't gotten back to me in three days. She is uh, not returning any of my texts, my messages online. We still haven't Skyped. I'm kind of starting to feel that um, I'm losing her. And I can only listen to Adam's song by Blink on repeat in my room so many times before. If it makes you feel any better, um, you know, the times that a woman has abruptly uh, cut off communication with me, she's just typically, uh, you know, sleeping with someone else. So she's probably okay physically, but um, you know, she may have moved on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that is highly unlikely. We're on a, connected on a level that we are both saving ourselves and waiting for us, each other for, uh, we'll wait well, forever is what we said. Well, hey, man, uh, you know, relationships are tough. Um, but luckily, picking a great can of chili isn't. Uh, that's why you always reach for Hormel Chili, the number one selling chili in America and the only uh, brand sponsorship that has not sued us yet. Uh, so we imagine the checks in the mail. Um, no better way to beat the heat this summer than reaching for a thick, meaty can of Hormel Chili. When you're done fucking around, it's Hormel. So in a quest to uh, gain more buzz for this season, Joe and I have been monitoring what types of videos are popular on YouTube and seeing if there's any ideas that we can copy. Um, one of which that we see is a lot of people doing outdoorsy type things, um, camping, primitive technology, survivalist drills, things like that. Um, so those are things that I do, uh, and I thought it would be great maybe if you guys came out um, with the camera crew and uh, I'd be able to show you a few things on how you could survive in the wild. Son of a bitch. Survival. Something that everybody has to do every day. And it's an easy thing to do when there's Wendy's and TV and air conditioners everywhere, but a little harder to do out here in the wild. That's why I'm gonna give you some tips and some tricks on if you find yourself in a wilderness type situation, how you can stay alive and maybe even thrive. Another important part of survival is the fire. Um, maybe the most important. This is gonna help keep you warm. It's gonna help you cook your food. Um, Luckily, uh, this is a high traffic area for dirtbag teenagers to drink beer and have underage sex, so it looks like they uh, left some of their embers from last night. So we have the embers going. It's going to be pretty easy to get a fire started. We just need a little roughage. Um, you can look for twigs, tree bark, uh, but I was able to find some trash. It's always great to burn trash. Kind of just get it down in. <laughs> And just like that, we got a fire uh, that's safe to cook and clean over. Um, and uh, that fire is going to help keep us warm. Another thing it's going to help keep us warm, a little uh, I picked this up from some old timers, some old time mountaineer type guys. It's right here, just a little old crow whiskey. But it heats you from the inside out. It's kind of like defrosting a hot dog. 
you know, just a couple zips of this. Mm. <clears throat> so food is a huge part of surviving out in the wild. Um, one source is vegetation um, out here. Um, sometimes you're going to find berries and not know whether they're poison or not poison. That can be a dicey proposition. Um, it's a little easier distinction for me because all berries give me diarrhea. Uh, for, for meals that you prepare, there's some great stuff online that you can find. Um, MREs, things like that. But as an unemployed man, a lot of those are out of my price range. Um, so I went with the next best thing, uh, a loaf of white bread and a can of Hormel chili. Uh, actually, these uh, Bruce's yams were, were kind of a last minute decision. They were at a he heavy discount due to this massive dent. Um, so that'll be a nice dessert. So we're gonna go with uh, the meal that I'm making today is an old Navy standby called shit on a shingle. Um, typically it's made with uh, chip beef and toast, uh, but in a pinch, a lukewarm can of Hormel chili will do. So uh, let's get started on that. So as I said, uh, our meal today is gonna be shit on a shingle, where the shingle uh, is bread, toast. Uh, so you gotta get it nice and charred up. The fire is a great source for that. Uh, I'm a pretty hungry guy, so I'm gonna go with four slices. And we just kind of set this up. This is kind of a Ron Popeil type thing, set it and forget it. Um, so we got that. Um, great, so we can start worrying about our chili now. Um, let's head over there and get that ready. <laughs> you feel like a man out here. You feel, yeah. You, know, you feel smarter. You feel uh, right. You know. The next part of making our meal uh, shit on a shingle is the shit, uh, or Hormel Chili, our sponsor. The nice thing about Hormel is they make them with these keys that you can open them. You don't need to bring a can opener with you, but um, the, fuck it, the key fell off. Um, luckily, uh, yeah, but we have uh, nature's can opener, uh, big ass rock. I think if I aim this right, we can get the top right off this son of a bitch. Here we go. Oh. Oh. And we don't want it all, any of it to go to waste, so. All right, so we got our Hormel chili. Uh, we got our shit. Uh, let's go check on our shingle. Son of a bitch. Ah. Take it easy, man. You're gonna be here for a while. I know. I gotta stay warm. I gotta stay warm. You can get the fuck out of here whenever you want. How's that sound? I'm fine out here by myself. I love being out here by myself. I can yell as loud as I fucking want. So, we have our shingle, we have our shit. So let's make our meal. You wanna get generous with it? Mmm. So there you go. Perfect meal. Shit on a shingle. So let's quit with the jibber jabber and see what we got here. Cut. Then he cut. Got bulls apps. Up more of that. Four hours out here. I'm just saying. Thanks. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be nice and warm. In fact, I'm gonna bust into these yams. The thing about yams is, uh, if you find the can with the dent in it, it's gonna be cheaper. I'd say aim for the dent. It's probably easier to get it. Mmm. 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 So I think it's about time to call it a night. I'm gonna go catch a couple Z's, um, and the boys are gonna check back with me uh, in the morning. You going to bed already? Yeah, what time is it? It's like 7 p.m. All right.
Man, look at this mess. What are you gonna I'm do? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm cold, man. I'm gonna be having a fucking blast, yelling as loud as I want. That those kids. Ma! Do you want to track? Who's gonna track the fucking dirt bike riders and shit? I see those kids down here. I saw them lighting off fireworks earlier, and I told them to fuck off, cause these are my woods. I don't know. You want us to take that? I don't think you need that. You gotta stay warm. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Everybody get the fuck out of here. I'm not an idiot. You, Jeff. I said get the fuck out of here. My uncles have a problem with booze. But I ain't my uncles. Okay, so um, we're here, it's morning, a little after uh, eight o'clock, and we're gonna head over to Ev's campsite and figure out how he fared. Two to one says he went home in the middle of the night, slept on his bed. Guarantee it, because I know him. Holy shit! Evan! You fucking dead? What? Is... Evan! What? Oh Why are you covered in shit and why is my mom's tent fucked? Stop talking, please. Why would you do this? Me? Look at me. You think I'd cover myself in fucking chili? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Oh my god. Some of them teenagers came down here last night and they were giving me shit, lighting off fireworks, and I told them to get the fuck out of here. And apparently they waited till I fell asleep and cormelled me. Yeah, that's like a four hundred dollar tent. Four hundred dollar tent? You're a fucking. You're insane. You think that's a four hundred dollar tent? See this mesh? Oh, uh, it's it's Coleman, tent. jackass. No, it's not. This isn't a fucking Coleman. You wouldn't know a Coleman tent if it went up and bit you in the ass. You son of a bitch. What? I'm the one covered in fucking chili. Can we remember this? Can we remember this? I'm the one who got dehumanized by a bunch okay. of fucking teenagers. Okay, Denny and I had to come down here and waste our fucking Saturday. Well, that was my Saturday. That's my Saturday. This is my Saturday. Fucking dog breath, dude. I wanted to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Well, survival's not an easy game, because if it was, Don't everybody would him. do Don't it. Don't him. stop. We have to... We can't blow the fucking bit. Oh, we... Well, survival's not an easy game. If it was, everybody would do it. Um, you know, sometimes things don't go the way you want them to out in the wild. Uh, but what matters is that you survive. And I think with my tips, um, you know, I think that if you take them and implement them um, in your own way, I think that you're going to find them very useful. Uh, wash that shit off your face. It's on my face? Is it on my face? Denny, it's on my face? <laughs>